Welcome back. Have any empty glass, wine, or beer bottles just laying around? Well, you could recycle them or you could turn them into something else altogether. Leanne Lee from Rekindled Spaces is back on the show with ways to repurpose them. I love this. This is a great way to take something that you already have in your house and make something really cool. Okay, so what are suggestions that you start off with right here? What is, what's this right here? Okay, well, first of all, most people see these as trash, or I hope at least recycling, mm -hmm. but right. I see these as another way to decorate your home inside and out. Mm -hmm. So what I've done first is I've just taken, actually, an, an empty wine bottle, mm -hmm. I soaked the label off, turned it upside down, taped it off, spray painted it, and made it into a garden marker. Another example here mm -hmm. is one where we've taken it and just written basil on it. So you could just stick it in the ground with a stick. To mark your herbs. Yes. And then you just use a stick right inside and then there you go. Yeah, or you could use rebar, <coughs> a rebar if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Okay, now these are so cute. I love the bright colors. And this is something would be perfect in a kid's room or, or your own room. Or your, yes, and what I did here, I just soaked the labels off, mm -hmm. and I actually used a beer bottle for this one. Okay. Soaked the labels off, spray painted them in a color, mm -hmm. then I took a rubber band and wrapped rubber bands around the bottles, okay. and then spray painted them in another color, tore the rubber bands off, stuck a flower in them, <clears throat> and you've got a beautiful decoration. There you go. Okay, so where'd you get these flowers? They're so cute. You know, I got those flowers at Michael's. They're mm -hmm. actually on clearance right now, so it's a great time to get them perfect for a little girl's room. I love this. Okay, and then in terms of glass, though, do you need to be careful? You know, it didn't, them? it didn't really, um, you know, it, it soaks off so easy. Put a little downy in the water, it soaks the label right off, and it was, it, it was a very simple project. It would be a good, uh, good craft for the kids. Older kids, actually. maybe. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, so what's next here? So here I just soaked off the labels, mm -hmm. and you can buy these little wine pours at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond's where I got these. I'm sure they have them mm -hmm. other places. And I put dish soap in one, and I put olive oil in one. So just great ways to repurpose something. And you make sure you need to label them so you don't use the dish soap for the olive oil. Exactly. <laughs> please, please do that. <clears throat> okay, why do you think people should repurpose in their home? You know, why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, I call it decorating with a conscience. Mm -hmm. And so it's um, environmentally friendly, it's less expensive, and it sets a really good example for future generations. Why not so repurpose? Great. I love that. Okay, what do we have here? So here, I got this fabulous uh, bottle cutter at mm -hmm. Michael's, and it has changed my life, seriously. It is life-changing. And what it does is it actually cuts the circumference of the bottle mm -hmm. off. So now what we have is a top to the bottle and a, bo and a bottom. So I've put tea lights in this part. On this, I've just made a little candlescape. Mm -hmm. Here I've taken a terracotta pot, a votive, once again made a tablescape, I love this one. This I took just some chain from a plant. Okay. And a votive. And now we can hang these from I an arbor that. or just outside on the porch. And one more I really need to show you because I love it. This mm -hmm. we made a tiki torch out of a wine bottle. Okay. So we just took some plumbing supplies, mm -hmm. a replacement wick, fill it with some tiki torch oil, and now you can set these all around your outside patio. I think this is great though, but you should get the darker wine bottles, right? I Does like, it create a better look in terms of the yeah, lighting? Yeah, it gives you some ambiance, which mm -hmm. I really like. And honestly, it seems like most of the wine, maybe it's just the wines mm -hmm. that I drink, tend to be a darker color. Now, can you use beer bottles for these? Beer bottles too, mm -hmm. and this is one I didn't show you. This, we actually took an electrical socket, and you could use these for outdoor lights or even pendant lights inside. This is a you know, an actual light bulb. And this makes me nervous, the bottle cutter, but you say we can use it. You know, it was a little tricky at first, mm -hmm. I'll be honest. It mm -hmm. took me two or three times to get a clean cut, but it worked wonderfully. And like I said, I got it at Michael's Craft Store. Um, it was fairly inexpensive, and I've used it over and over again, and I'm addicted. I'm, addi <laughs> You're I'm addicted hooked. to the glass cutter. I want right. to cut everything. And if you want to make a Mother's Day gift, this would be something that would be really fun. It would be great. Perfect. Great. All right. Well, Leanne was so kind to share the step-by-step -step instructions for her projects with us. You can find them on our website later today, kclive.tv. Thank you so much for Thank stopping you. in. You're so sweet and wonderful. Thank you for having me. All right.